Good morning. It is another vlog day and it's not super early, but early enough to where I can get things going before the day kind of starts. Today, this week is spirit week for my daughter's Paris' school. And what that means, if you don't know, is that they do a theme every single day. And today's theme is villains and superheroes. And of course, last night she said to me she wanted to be uh, last minute <laughs> Poison Ivy from Batman and she has a green dress and I have a little bit of green makeup and I try to locate some English Ivy today to sort of make her a crown uh, to kind of complete the ensemble and I went out to the back of my property a little bit ago and I actually found I also have some Ivy growing so we're gonna do that I'm gonna just get her ready to go she has her on-site class today uh, I think I've mentioned that before and I'm going to bring you along to kind of just show you my day of course. Um, later on I have its bedding day as far as cleaning goes. I'm going to strip the bedding down and get those washed. Hopefully I have time for that because I also have some laundry to also uh, get in the washer first. Just a lot of homemaking, a lot of um, school stuff with my daughter and just getting things done for the day. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and let's get going for our day. Okay, so I have some stuff from my craft uh, little drawer that I have, or it's a little basket, I should say. I have some pipe cleaners and I have a glue gun. And I also have this little thing that I used to do for photography. I have a little headband. It's like a, a girl's uh, headband. It's really cute. It's nature-like, but it's definitely not poison ivy so I might use the band on it and just remove the flowers or I might use the pipe cleaner so we'll see we'll get into this and see how good of a crown I can actually make I think it came out pretty well. Never underestimate a mom with a glue gun. came out great. Now that poison ivy is all ready to go, I'm going to pop in the kitchen and just heat some lunch up today. I'm just going to rewarm some chili I made just the other day and get that on the table, get her fed and take her to center class.
Okay, so I got the first bed in the washer, that's going. I actually just yesterday and then finished this morning, I didn't bring the camera with me because it was so frustrating, but I hung a new uh, clothesline outside and it's one of those ones that you put two screws into the tree and then you run the line across to a hook. And I don't know what, but it was super stubborn and I didn't even pop the camera on, but I'm hoping it holds up. We're having a pretty windy day today, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I love to hang uh, my clothes on the line and not my towels because those get a little bit crunchy. So I still use the dryer for those, but linens or um, bedding, of course, I love to smell that in the breeze and be out there in the sunshine and hearing the birds and um, it's just a peaceful, I guess, nostalgic feeling. And so I don't know if you're like that, but I definitely, um, I just appreciate it. This time of year, it's, it's perfect to be out there. So we're going to get those going here in a, in a little bit when that load's done. Uh, but this week is my daughter's birthday, uh, the day before Halloween, actually on Sunday. And to add, <laughs> to add to all the things we got to get done, uh, planning a birthday party on Saturday for her. We're doing a karaoke birthday party with some friends and I have some packages that came for her while she was at her center class today. So it's kind of nice to be able to have her not know that something came for her because she's here with me 24 seven. Um, so it's kind of hard to plan anything, but this year I did let her in on it. And usually I do like a surprise type of party, but I have some streamers, my balloons came and it's going to be a pretty great time. I have one of my, my really good friends is a total karaoke person. So she's bringing her little karaoke machine and I'm making the kids snacks. I always make her birthday cake. So I have everything. I just feel really, really accomplished this week because I have all this extra stuff that I did in preparation so that I wasn't doing anything last minute because I hate doing things last minute. And something that's I've been doing in the last three weeks is just when I think of something, if I have five extra minutes, I just go do it. I don't add it to my list. And what that has done is it's enabled me to just get so much more done. I feel so productive in the day and it's just such a simple thing. Instead, I would normally, normally I would scroll a little bit on Facebook or something while I had that free time, those five extra minutes, right? I don't know why we do that. I guess it's just such a habit. But instead of doing that, I've just been really intentional about putting my phone away and getting up and getting something done, whether it be small, like getting the meat from the freezer for dinner or, you know, placing an order for streamers for the birthday. Um, but it's been really nice to see the difference in the productivity because I normally find that I am productive as a person. I like to get things done, but it's just sometimes, you know, you just can't do everything. But I've been finding that I'm, I'm a lot more productive this way. So be careful of Facebook scrolling. It really takes up a lot more time than you even think of. And those five extra minutes really do count. done hanging our sheets. I'm going to go pop out and get them in just a few minutes. I did run and grab my daughter. I forgot my camera, so I didn't bring you for that, but she is home now. And it's just about time to get dinner going. Tonight I'm going to make a glazed salmon. This one is not on the blog just yet, but I might end up putting it because it's a very simple and delicious go-to salmon dinner. In the video, I will show you how I make it so that way you can uh, come up with your own version at home if you want to try it. And we're gonna have some rice with that and a little bit of salad. I'm gonna get that going right now, then get the sheets and finish up that chore for the day. Okay, so this quickly comes together and I don't really have a measurement for this just yet. I usually do for two pieces of salmon, like two, a little over two tablespoons of brown sugar. And sometimes I use Dijon, sometimes I just use a standard yellow mustard, just whatever you have on hand. 
and I do probably owe a teaspoon or two of that. Not too much because you don't want it to overpower the salmon. Some olive oil, a pretty decent amount of that, maybe a, three tablespoons or so, something like that. And then of course we need salt. I do owe a half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more depending on how salty you like it. And then I just mix it all up in the bowl here. And I have my baking dish, so it's pretty easy. I have my salmon, easy peasy, and a baking dish. This is probably a way bigger baking dish than I need, but it's the smallest one I have right now that I could find. And I just put that in there and just literally top it over the salmon. I have the oven set to 400 degrees. And I'll bake this until the salmon's just cooked. I don't want to overcook it. wraps up this vlog I think. I am all done with our bedding. I gave my daughter hers to do herself and I didn't show her room today just out of respect. She wasn't home to ask so I just figure why take you in and uh, invade any privacy. I don't want to do that. So anyhow I have dinner done and the dishes are going to be also my daughter's tonight so it's kind of nice to be somewhat done for the day. I'm going to make a cup of tea and do some editing. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you on the next one. Have a great week ahead.